guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you are new. So today's video is going to be an at-home workout. I'll put everything up on the screen as I'm training so you guys can see how many reps and sets that I personally do. Don't be afraid to push yourself and do a little bit more if you guys feel like you need to or incorporate weights where you can if you have them. I just wanted to start sharing my workouts with you guys while I'm training at home especially so you can kind of see different ways you can get creative with what you have available to you at home or minimal equipment. I do add in heavier weights where needed. I like to share with you guys certain things you can do with bands, how you can get creative. And I also just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about staying motivated while you're training at home. Just training in general. Obviously right now for me, I'm prepping for a show. So I kind of have like a little end goal. So for me, I'm like, okay, I'm motivated. Um, there's gonna be a show in the spring, but I really don't know if there's gonna be a show in the spring. No one really knows what's going on. It's very unusual times, especially when you're making sacrifices for something that you're not even sure is gonna go ahead or not or could get canceled. It's definitely a little bit difficult to wrap your head around. So if you're not feeling totally motivated to get training in, even if the gyms are open where you are, things are just, you know, unusual, or your routine is thrown off. Or even if you're just not feeling like yourself, I understand and I feel where you're coming from because I personally have been getting in a little ruts here and there where I feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm taking these 18, 20 weeks to prep or six months to prep and what if there's no show or what if I have to like travel and isolate and take time off work and all these things spiral in my mind as well. At the end of the day, I still push through and get things done because I know, you know, I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, wow, I did another day of that. Like, I'm so proud of myself. And I guess at the end of the day too, it's not only just a step on stage for me or whatever the goal could be for you. It's just knowing that you did something and you put your all into it and you gave it your all and you saw the results. And I love seeing my body change every single day, every single week, my progress pictures, my mood. I love seeing how I respond to certain foods. I love being dedicated to something that's for me and only me. So if you're kind of in that mindset where you get in that route where you're like, oh, I'm not super motivated right now, or there's no real reason, or what's the point? Like, I never know what's gonna come. Like, maybe I won't get to go on my vacation, or maybe I won't get to, you know, do my photo shoot, or whatever it is you might be, you know, dieting for, trying to lose weight for, or whatever your goal could be. Try to just change your mindset in the way that I do um, and just say listen it's for me regardless every single day is for me and goals are great because they give you that little piece of something to look forward to but I always try to have an end goal after the end goal if that makes sense if you're never finished and I feel like when I think about prep or if I get in that little mood I'm like hold on now after this prep what's next you always want to have something afterwards especially if you're dieting or cutting down it's not just like okay this day i'm going to be done my diet like no try to make things a lifestyle and i guess like have a better perspective on um you know what it is you're doing and why and for me sitting down and journaling has been a huge help for that i'll sit down and i'll journal and i'll write down what i'm grateful for what my short-term goals are as well as what my long-term goals are and for whatever reason i really find writing down my short and long-term goals um, not only humbling, but also just gives me a sense of direction on why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I should push through every single day and keep going. It's a really great time to reflect on what's happening in the world and being able to commit to something and still push through regardless of what's going on around you in your external environment just shows true internal growth and i think that things like journaling or reflecting is super important so if you do find you're in a little rut like i have been here and there definitely take some time to reflect on what it is you're doing and what you love about it or why you decided to do it in the first place so hopefully that made sense i'm not really sure i just kind of feel like if you're going to do something like give it your all because it just makes you feel good at the end of the day and you're the one that you're trying to impress, I guess. And if you're trying to impress somebody else, you're doing something for somebody else, then you shouldn't be doing it. Trying to diet to look good for someone or you're trying to prove something to somebody else. Like, I mean, you can definitely prove things to other people, but I feel like if it's not for you at the end of the day, you're not gonna ever really truly be fully motivated or determined and driven. And I feel like that's why I get up every single day and work towards my goals because it's for me and no one else. And if I don't put the work in, then no one else is gonna do it for me. So hopefully that makes sense. But I do wanna share some other little tips. So for me, when training at home, staying motivated can definitely come and go. So obviously reflecting and journaling, I already mentioned that a couple times. Super important, but that's just generic when it comes to daily motivation. Uh, when it comes to training, I think that having times blocked off for when I want to train, like the night before, a couple days before, thinking about, okay, this is what Tuesday is looking like for me. What time am I going to train? And blocking that time out in your agenda and giving yourself enough quality time to actually get that workout done. That includes getting dressed and ready for it, you know, getting to the gym if you're going to drive there, getting back. 
um, giving yourself time to warm up, cool down, making sure you're actually devoting the time that you need to get the training session in and a good quality session at that is super, super important. I used to rush my workouts because I would never block off enough time and I would end up always having a really crappy workout or not being fully focused because I'm always like worrying about you know, oh my god, I'm not going to have enough time to get to here and we do this and whatever. And usually it ended up in me, you know, getting up too late or like not going to bed early enough the night before and little things like that. So getting an agenda, grabbing something like that and blocking off the time that you need, like really marking down what it is you're going to do that day and blocking off the period for the gym and the session is definitely a game changer when it comes to staying organized and having an agenda and also just like planning out the week or your goals or your targets if you have five sessions what five days work best also when it comes to planning you want to make sure that you know what it is you're training before you go in if you've been training for a long time and you're someone who can go into the gym and just decide on the spot what it is you're going to be doing and what you need to work and what feels good and that's what you like to do and you can do that efficiently and it's effective and it works go ahead and do what's best for you i just know for me if i get in the gym and i get overwhelmed and i'm not totally motivated um if i don't have written down like kind of at least generically what i want to train i can definitely get a little bit thrown off so writing down what you're training and also keeping track of how the lift goes how many sets you're doing the rep range how heavy it is how you're finding it how long of a break you're taking in between certain things you know um, all of those things play a factor in how the session might go so if you're organized you know what it is you're training you go in you get it done and you work hard and you do better than last time then you should really be getting a great workout going but i know for me when it's written down i'm like okay i did that and i want to beat it or you know it, sometimes you just forget so anyways that's just my little spiel on keeping track of your training sessions and organizing those into your day the next thing for being kind of motivated i know like having a really good gym playlist helps a lot with me you know a personal thing for me but i find it really helps having music and stuff on on, on the way to the gym before i work out while i'm working out and it just gets my mood elevated i guess so that's a suggestion as well as working out with somebody. I know when I was in isolation the first time, my sister and I would get up at 6.30 in the morning and we would Zoom. She was in Halifax at the time and I was in Newfoundland and we would Zoom and do our workouts together to make sure that we got up and got it done. Some days we wouldn't even be looking at each other in the screen. Like I would email her the workout that we were gonna do and we would like just be kind of talking in and checking in here and there, but just knowing that we were both getting up and doing it was super helpful. And for cardio, I find it extremely helpful when my roommate or my sister goes out and does the walks with me or I call somebody and I'm walking with them or I'm like into a new podcast or something and I'm doing something else like while I'm actually exercising I find that super helpful and again on the holding yourself accountable piece taking progress photos even if you're training at home you should be taking progress photos the scale obviously is a great tool for measurement I personally think that it is beneficial if you have a good relationship with it definitely use it you kind of need to know how your weight is fluctuating based on what you're eating as well as other variables in my opinion but I think progress photos are extremely important. So make sure you're taking some progress photos, front, side, and back, natural lighting, similar clothing or the same clothing every single week. Measurements are great too. You wanna do that around the same time every single day. I do it in the morning, fasted, and it just helps me look at the progress I've made, even if my weight hasn't changed a whole lot or if certain things are fluctuating or whatever it might be. Having the progress photos is like, okay, I know I have to take my pictures this week. I wanna look better. I wanna, you know, compare these. I wanna show people these someday. I wanna like look back and see how far I've come. And if you don't take those progress pictures, it's kind of hard to see the little changes that you make along the way. So that's a great way to stay motivated, especially if you're training at home or if you're new to training. And the next thing I wanna talk about is pre-workout. I don't think you need to take pre-workout every single day or every single time you train. However, I do think it's beneficial. I personally like pre-workout. You can get stim free or you can get regular pre-workout. I like to do a combo of both. Um, a lot of the stim free pre-workouts have nootropics in it, which are great for cognitive function. So it basically has to do with your brain stimulation and um, you're super focused without that kind of anxiety piece that you get from a lot of stimulants or caffeine or whatever. So if you're someone who's highly affected by you know, a lot of the stimulants in certain pre-workouts, go for a pump product, so like pump surge. If you're someone who likes both of them, do the combo like me, or you can just do nitro surge. I've already talked about these products multiple times on my channel and on my Instagram, and I post about them every single day. So you can check out my Instagram if you guys haven't already, but um, I think pre-workouts are great, especially when training at home, because it gives you that little energy boost that you might not have when you're kind of sitting around or you're working from your desk or whatever it might be. Just get up and get things moving, which is what we want. Again, keeping those times in between 
um, sets short to keep intensity high, super important. You don't wanna drag out your workout. You don't wanna make it not intense. You wanna be in the zone, whether you're training from home or not. And then actually the last thing I wanna talk about is distractions. So if you're someone who's working from home and you know that you're gonna be constantly checking your email or constantly checking your phone, put that stuff away for a little bit. Just put it away for that little hour period or however long you're training for and just focus on the workout. It's music, do whatever you need to do, just kind of like get in the zone for yourself. I know for me having the windows open, having a nice open space when I train helps me a lot and just you know put your headphones in and do your thing or whatever um try to get the distractions to go away and just give yourself the time as if you would if you were in the gym if you're training from home if you're in the gym same thing sometimes i would put my phone on airplane mode it is what it is i want to get my stuff done if people are calling me or texting me or my phone's going off i find it really distracting sometimes and i just need to put the distractions away and i think that applies whether you're home or in the gym so that's probably the last thing um i do kind of post stuff on my instagram all the time i know i just talked about that but um definitely check that out because i like to share little tips here and there i'm always changing up what i'm doing and what i'm trying out but those are kind of the things that have been getting me through training at home and staying motivated so i just wanted to talk about that and that's pretty well it i'm also going to be doing 12 days of vlogmas so i'm going to be releasing 12 videos back to back from December 13th to the 24th. So I am staying in Nova Scotia for Christmas. We just found out today that the Atlantic bubble is not opening, so I won't be going home. So it's my first Christmas here away from home, and I'm just basically gonna be banging out some vlogs and videos for you guys. So some of them could just be regular workouts. I have some giveaways to do, which I'm super excited about, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully some other cool content and recipes and all that fun stuff. So if there's certain things you guys like to see from me, comment down below, let me know, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe guys, if you guys like this kind of stuff from me. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into the workout. I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in the next clip. Workout. Say hi. Okay. Hey. Show us your best shoulder press. Um, like, I came ready. Okay. 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 Doing shoulders. Shoulder press. <laughs> Just be not breathing. So Okay, and show us your favorite arm workout. That's not the arm. <laughs> And show us your favorite bodybuilding pose. <laughs> oh, you're doing the back pose. Do the back one. Go. <laughs> okay, her favorite one is the figure ones, I'm pretty sure, but she can't do them. Do uh. mine. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> right, 
Thank you. I'm going back to my workout now. So we're gonna go for a walk. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout. I did a lot of different shoulder press movements. Um, I have a guest, so hopefully you guys enjoyed her little Shocker, segment. It's me. <laughs> and uh, gonna get our steps in, get our cardio in, and we'll see you in the next clip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't checked out my Instagram or my TikTok, be sure to check me out there. Make sure you guys like this video. Give it that thumbs up. Show me your support and show me that you enjoy this content. Also let YouTube know by subscribing to my channel. You can hit the bell button so you don't miss a video from me. I am going to be uploading a video in a couple of days. It'll be a full vlog for you guys. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. And we will see you guys in the next video.